Chili's is an explosive small cryptocurrency with a market capitalization of just $2 billion. In my opinion, Chili's has endless potential and it has a huge total addressable market that is yet to be fully addressed. If you enjoy the video, remember to like and subscribe. We're just approaching 150 subscribers. Also, remember, I am not a licensed financial advisor, meaning nothing said in this video should be taken as financial advice, and you should always do your own research before diving into any of these stocks. Now, let's get into specifically what Chili's does. Chili's provides sports and entertainment entities with blockchain-based tools to help them engage and monetize their audiences. These sports and entertainment entities could be soccer clubs, they could be the UFC, they could even be the NFL. Basically, what users will do is they will purchase the Chili's blockchain, so they will purchase the Chili's token, and then they will use this token to then purchase sports team tokens, so they can purchase branded fan tokens. For example, an individual may choose to purchase the Juventus token, and this Juventus team token will mean users will be able to influence the team's popular vote for decisions like management decisions or team lineups, and they will also become eligible for awards and recognition. Such awards may be VIP seats or discounts on merchandise. It is also highly likely that fans will not purchase these tokens expecting awards for their tokens. Instead, they will purchase it because they love the team so much, which should help the Chili's blockchain appreciate in value, as sports fans will simply just buy their sports team's tokens for the sake of it. As such, Chili's gamifies team management, and the reason that this is needed and the reason that this would occur is because sports teams will want more money, especially in a year where people haven't really been able to go to sports games. Basically, whenever people purchase these team tokens, this means more money goes to the sports teams. So Juventus will be earning extra income off these team tokens, and it's really a win-win for everyone. It's monetizing the sports teams and making people be able to trade the sports teams through cryptocurrency. If you buy it, you can sell your tokens and get more money, and the sports team also gets money in the process. So this is really a win-win situation using cryptocurrency, and it shows why many sports teams have adopted Chili's. Also, to use Chili's, Chili's have developed the Socios.com platform. This is basically the platform where you do everything on. On Socios.com, you can buy the Chili's token, also, you can buy the Chili's token in places like Binance and other platforms. However, most of the sports fans are encouraged and incentivized with lower fees to go to Socios.com to purchase this. Individuals will purchase their Chili's token on Socios, perhaps using Visa or MasterCard. And then once Chili's is purchased, individuals can exchange it for fan tokens, such as, as I've already mentioned, Juventus. And in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you can see the trading of Juventus's token and how it's been moving up and down in value. These fan tokens will of course change in value due to supply and demand. It's also worth noting, a very, very small amount of these fan tokens are currently circulating. Juventus currently has around 6% in circulation, and what this basically means is they're going to issue more and more fan tokens, which will dilute the value of the currency, and they'll make more money, which isn't really that good in the future, and it's probably why I'd prefer just to stick with the Chili's blockchain. You can buy Chili's and make money off Chili's, as long as the ecosystem is getting better and better and people are purchasing fan tokens other than you. So if other individuals purchase fan tokens, they use Chili's and you just simply hold the Chili's for the gains, you can make a lot of money if this space grows over time. As we can see, you own a share of influence of your team if you buy these. You can influence team decisions like lineups. You can earn once in a lifetime rewards and you can follow teams and even trade these currencies. So these are all of the benefits of the Chili's ecosystem, which there seems to be many. Now, let's take a look at Chili's as partnerships, because of course, for this to work, Chili's needs to legitimately have partnerships, otherwise what is the point of the currency if no one is using it? 
However, you'll find so far many soccer clubs have adopted the Chile's currency, which is very good for it, and it seems it's expanding outwards. Chile's is used by FC Barcelona, Juventus, AS Roma, Atletico de Madrid, and many other soccer clubs. I'm sorry if I may got those names wrong of the soccer clubs. Some of them, some of them are a bit hard to pronounce. As such, individuals can achieve discounts for merchandise, VIP seats, and voting rights for all of these teams, so it's pretty good. Also, the UFC has recently just joined the Chili's ecosystem, and you can purchase tickets with it and acquire merchandise. All of these at discounts if you use the UFC Chili's, Chili's token. OG Esports has also purchased it, which is a Dota 2 um, team, so this is pretty good, and it shows a lot of esports companies can really get into the space. On average, these fan tokens are generating $30 million in revenue in 2020 for teams, and in 2021, tons and tons more teams have adopted it. In fact, these teams started adopting Chili's token around late February and early March. So this is a very new thing, and it is a little bit unproven so far. However, the future looks very, very bright with all of these teams, and I reckon in 2021, they'll be making a lot more money. So, the better that also, another thing that's interesting about the Chili's token is the better a team performs and the better the token performs, the more of those tokens will be burned as a way to reward fans. If tokens are burned, this just takes supply off the market, less supply, higher price, it's really as simple as that. So more token burns means it's a little bit more scarce and the fans get rewarded with a bit more money, which is great. Chili's has also expanded into NFTs. If you don't know what NFTs are, I'm not explaining what they are in full detail in this video. However, it basically just means you can buy digital collectibles online. It's really as simple as that. And there's a little bit more to it, however, but you can look at that elsewhere. Chili's has integrated with Chainlink to mint NFTs in real time, and it's also partnered with Engine to create Ethereum-based collectibles for clubs. If all of that just sounded like complete rubbish, all they are really doing is Chili's are minting limited edition NFTs for specific sports clubs. So, let's say your favourite soccer player just scores a goal. A photo could be taken of that goal, signed by your favourite soccer player, and you could get the digital rights to that photo and the signature. They could also, certain sports teams could say, in, issue digitalised merchandise or digitalised really anything to do with the team, and individuals will be able to purchase these as NFTs. For example, just recently, LeBron James slam dunking a basketball, was purchased for around $100,000 as an NFT, and with Chili's, the NFT opportunities are effectively endless. They can do anything with these NFTs, and these sports teams can definitely sell NFTs for very, very high amounts, so individuals can own the digital rights to literally anything the sports teams want to do, which is quite good. If we take a look at the Chili's token, it's worth around 39 cents. Sure, that seems like it's just a penny token, it's worth basically nothing. However, we must also take into account total supply. There are 8,888,888,888 8 Chili's tokens in supply. This is why it has a market cap of around $2 billion, and you can also see the token distribution on this screen, but I won't be going too far into it. It basically just lays out how much the investors have, how much the advisory board has, and how much is used for marketing operations and strategic acquisitions, which is interesting stuff. So, let's take a look at the price action of Chili's. Because chances are, a lot of you don't actually want to purchase the fan tokens and engage with the sports clubs. You just want to make money off the Chili's token. The way you're going to make money off the Chili's token is if other individuals purchase the fan tokens and get integrated with the ecosystem. I believe this is highly likely to happen across 2021, and I am very bullish on Chili's. For people to purchase their favourite fan tokens, they must first purchase Chili's and then exchange it for fan tokens, pushing up the price. 
So, of course, if more and more teams adopt chilies, and at this rate, tons are, it will appreciate in value. The UFC just adopted it, eSports just adopted it, the options are endless. Any sports team anywhere could adopt chilies, and all this will do is result in the price rising and the ecosystem getting better and better. As you can see, in early March, there was a ton of hype surrounding Chili's. This is because all of the teams basically announced they were using it then and in late February. Really, before February, no one was using Chili's. So, you can see the price spiked right up to around a dollar off a hype rally. Since then, it's retreated to around 39 cents. Currently, it's a falling knife, and I would look for a base before buying chilies. However, this isn't financial advice, so I think I may get some chilies. However, I am uncertain. I don't own any right now. I see a falling knife. It's at 39 cents. Let's see where it levels off. Let's see where it finds a base, and perhaps it's a good idea to make an entry. Because I do believe, based purely on fundamentals, it looks like chilies has a lot going for it. If more teams adopt it, this token could be significantly bigger than it currently is. So, with that, that brings the video to the end. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe, and remember, nothing said was financial advice, and Chili's is a bit of a risky token. Thanks for watching the video.